This is Chaos Black in New York, and I'm here with Hilda. That's right. Hey, Hilda, what are you doing in New York? I'm working. And what are you working on? Who do you work with? <laughs> um, I'm at the Cultiman Conference here in New York. It's very glamorous, um, prestigious group of men that are working to end violence against women. So I was here supporting the work that they do and contributing some information to that dialogue. Okay, so I'm um, back home. Uh, where do you live? I live in Austin, Texas, currently. Okay, so in Austin, Texas, what do you do there as part of your the, job? I work with the um, statewide domestic violence coalition as a primary prevention specialist. So I work with the prevention of domestic violence. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, can you just give me some more description on that? What exactly? What's domestic violence? If somebody doesn't know, describe that for me in any form. What is the best violence? Domestic violence can be a variety of things from intimidation, people intimidating other people, people using physical aggression, people being emotionally or, or verbally abusive to other folks. Um, so it doesn't generally have to do with physical, what else, you know, kind of violence. It can be all kinds of things, although it, sometimes it does involve um, physical violence. But the point of, of domestic violence and the way that it really works is that people are using those tactics in order to exert their power and control over and domination over other people and mainly based on misogynistic um, principles. Okay, so if someone's in like a situation where there's domestic violence present, how would they go about trying to get away from that? Thank you. Excuse me? If someone's in a domestic violence uh, situation, how would they go about trying to get away from that situation? How would how would you help them? Um, well, I wouldn't help them personally because mm -hmm. uh, I'm not a direct service provider. Um, but there, you know, there are agencies that are within their cities that. Um, offer direct services, they might ask for shelter, they might just want to ha talk to a counselor, um, or they might want to get a restraining order, depending on what they want to do. They would talk to their local service provider and decide that for themselves. So that, the best answer for that is to find out who who are the service providers within your city that are offering services, like um, that could be legal services, or shelter services, or better intervention services. Um, so just find out who those people are and connect with them. Okay. Um, They're all free of charge to everybody. <laughs> Anything, anything else you would like to add? Mm, no. Actually, you know what? What's, what's your background? Where are you from? I'm from Texas. I was uh, I was not born there, but I was definitely raised there. Uh, my family is from Mexico. They came to the United States in the 70s, in the mid 70s. Um, five of my brothers and sisters were born in Mexico. Three of us in the United States. Um, so we're uh, very much a bicultural kind of uh, family. Some of us that only speak Spanish. Some of us that speak English and some of us that speak Spanglish, you know, and that and that goes, you know, throughout the spectrum of my nieces and nephews and everybody else. So how do you feel that affected your upbringing to where you, you're you continuing on now in your life plan? Well, it obviously affects my life's work. I mean, it affects you know, how I look at things, my outlook. Um, it affects who I'm, I'm personally invested in working with and the kinds of cultural ideologies that I feel um, need to change and from what perspective they need to change. Um, because one of the things I think that happens a lot with um, communities of color is that people tend to say that violence is happening in those communities because that's how those people are, you know, so there's, there's always this, this kind of dialogue that those people are violent. In reality, everybody's violent, right? We know that, that domestic violence cuts across race, class, gender, sexuality, um, and so it's not something that just happens to those people, it's something that happens to everybody. And also when we think about it being, a, 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 you know, people saying that it's just part of our culture, that our culture is a machista culture, um, they obviously do not understand what our real history is, and that in our true and real history, men respected women, and domestic violence is not happening. Okay. So do you have any websites that people could search out for more information, maybe your own where you work, or just anything in general? Yeah, 
I mean, I think the Texas Council on Family Violence has a lot of information at our website. Um, and just, you know, type in domestic violence and you'll get tons of stuff. The Miss Foundation, the um, Women of Color Network. Um, what else? I don't know. There's just a lot of there's just a lot of stuff. Well, thank you, Hilda, for the interview, and hope you much more success with your work. And thank you for coming to New York to the conference. Thank you.